NBC News uh, with a story out on uh, who might be in Donald Trump's cabinet if he were to win. Buckle up for this basket of deplorables. So this is from three unnamed sources inside the Trump campaign. So they say that a uh, leading candidate for attorney general is Rudy Giuliani. It's Giuliani time if Trump wins. So if you thought stop and frisk was a nightmare in New York City, if you think that uh, Rudy Giuliani has been unhinged in his television appearances, uh, if you're a minority and you didn't like the way Giuliani uh, treated minorities in New York, buckle up. He's about to do that on a national scale if Trump wins. Okay, these are Trump insiders saying that they're going this direction. They're not saying this is a warning. Are you kidding me? They're bragging about it. They're like, yeah, Giuliani will be Attorney General. That is the head uh, of the, you know, our legal branch, obviously, within the executive branch. So, oof. Imagine what he does with the FBI and the Justice Department. Oh, God. Secretary of State, you need a good diplomat here, someone who's recent, even keeled. Nope. Newt Gingrich. The damage this guy can do across the world. Bull, meet China shop. Okay. Lieutenant General Michael Flynn for Defense Secretary. He's actually not technically eligible because he hasn't been out of the military for seven years, um, but. <laughs> the Trump team cares. Uh, they might also make him national security advisor, or they can ask for an exception to the seven-year rule. Now, Lieutenant General Michael Flynn has been on the campaign trail, um, you know, saying rabid things about how we got to bomb everybody to oblivion on behalf of Donald Trump. Uh, he's also uh, been um, greeted very warmly by Vladimir Putin. Now, this is not conjecture. Uh, he actually went over to Moscow and had dinner with him and for some sort of RT anniversary or something along those lines. So there's some concerns about whether he should be getting national security briefings given how close he is to Putin. Well, he'll be getting them as defense secretary. So, and then chief of staff, a little surprising for Donald Trump, Reince Priebus uh, is apparently the leading candidate. He's the head of the RNC. He's more of an establishment Republican but has been uh, weaselly and friendly enough uh, to Donald Trump and done his bidding enough. Uh, good boy, good boy. Uh, you might get chief of staff. Um, and so that would also be an olive branch to the establishment while still having a guy who Trump trusts enough because of how this campaign went. That to me is you know, a parade of horribles, a basket of deplorables. Uh, and you know, look, parade of horribles is things that are not likely to happen except we're one day from the election, and it really might happen. If Trump wins, those are the guys in charge. I know there are some progressives out there making the case for, no, it, we'll be able to coalesce and fight against Trump and, okay, you know, you, Giuliani's going to let you coalesce. He, the, Trump's been saying it, Giuliani's been saying it, we need to monitor uh, our opponents, you know, whether it's they, in their mind, of course, Muslims are opponents, so we're going to monitor their mosques, we're going to go to universities, target Muslim students, target Latinos, blacks, etc. Who else won't they target? You're going to roll the dice with these guys in charge of America for four years. Okay, um, I'm not going to roll that dice. So uh, now, finally, uh, we go to a, a story about. Uh, Trump's role in all this. Well, it turns out, NBC reports, Trump himself has not taken an active part in transition efforts, in part out of superstition. Oh, Jesus Christ. He fears too much planning before a victory might jinx the campaign. No, too much planning might win a campaign. <laughs> not enough planning might jinx a campaign because you didn't plan enough. Now, look, this, of course, I understand is for if he wins uh, and Usually both sets of candidates have a transition team in place, and in this case, Chris Christie is in charge of his transition team, whose two aides just got convicted in New Jersey. <laughs> the two people that he picked are now convicted felons in New Jersey, so that's the guy in charge of his transition team. Nice job there, Donald Trump. But you know, you make some planning and you say, hey, look, if I win, we're going to go in this direction. That's a normal part of how you do this. But of course, Trump's like, no planning. No planning, that'll jinx things, okay? All right, no, you guys, these are the selections you like. Okay, all right, hey, hey, don't talk to me about it. 
Ay, 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 ay. But he's also done no planning in his um, in his overall campaign to win the presidency. That's why he's getting, according to early numbers, getting routed in early voting in places like Nevada and Florida with so many more registered Democrats showing up than registered Republicans. The way you jinx yourself if you don't do planning, Donald Trump, but that's classic Trump move. So now you know. So don't come around getting surprised if Trump wins. Like, oh my God, look at Giuliani and Gingrich, and I couldn't believe it. Yeah, I believe it because that's exactly what they're going to do.